Hey, what's up? Hope you're doing well today. Take a moment to check out my newest listing. Pretty nice property, huh? So the truth is, this is actually not my listing. I almost got this listing, but I was beat out by another agent. Although this doesn't happen a lot, it happens a lot more frequently than you think. I don't care how long you've been in the business, how good you think you are, or how much you think you deserve every single listing that you come across, you're going to lose listings for the rest of your career. It's part of the business. There's so many agents out there and so many different personalities that people are going to connect with other people and other real estate agents differently. There's no way around this. Whenever a new agent hits me up on Instagram telling me how they lost a deal and how hard it is for them and how they don't know how they're going to recover and they're starting to become less and less motivated and they're almost feeling like they're not even going to make it in real estate, I tell them simply that that is part of the process. You're going through the same exact stages as everyone else. So how do I handle losing a listing? The first thing I do when I lose a deal is I think about it long enough to figure out what exactly I learned out of that experience and then I forget about it the moment that I figure out what I learned from it. It goes absolutely out of my head because I don't have enough room in my head for negativity or deals that got away or deals that aren't gonna work. I have to fill my head up with positivity and deals that will work. If you watch enough of my videos, you'll know that I have a strong stance on business is unlimited. There's an overabundance of deals out there for everybody. There's more than you can handle. You can't do it all. So why would you sit around worrying about a deal that got away when you can just turn around and do more deals fill your cup up and get busy closing deals. So the first thing I do is I think about what I learned from it and then immediately forget about it and move on to more positive deals and more positive situations. The second thing I do is I think about the fact of how much future time I just got back that I don't have to spend on that deal anymore. Time is our greatest asset and losing a deal is the only situation that gives you future time back that you do not have to work on that deal anymore. You don't have to deal with signing the listing or making an offer and negotiating, putting a sign up, taking pictures, working with title companies, inspectors, mortgage people. You don't have to do any of that anymore. You can now take this future time, you're freed up, you can go get five more deals. Now when I say go get five more deals, here's what I mean. You can take the same time that it would have taken you to go through the process to close the deal that you lost and initiate at least five more deals. I'm not saying that you're going to close five more deals on the same amount of time. I'm saying you can take that time and initiate five more deals in the same amount of time that it would have taken you to close that deal and now you have five more deals to work on. But what I see most people doing when they lose a deal is they sulk about it or mope about it in their head and that's taking so much away from from you. This is literally holding most of you back. Understand that losing deals is part of the process. Everyone goes through it. I still go through it. And it's the greatest thing in the world because it gives you opportunity to create more deals. So do me a big favor. Next time you lose a deal, think about what you learned from the deal. Immediately forget about losing the deal and take that future time and go get five more deals. To end the video, here's a clip from a recent speech I did. Click subscribe and hit the bell and we'll talk to you soon. I think the biggest thing for new agents is learning a couple of things. One is that losing deals is the greatest thing that can ever happen to you, right? Too many agents take a loss and get down on their self because they were looking at what the closing was going to do to the bank account and then they lose the deal and they think they lost the money, but really they never had the money. <laughs> so. What a loss actually does, you, a, a seller decides to use a different agent. A buyer <coughs> backed out of a contract cold feet, no reason. Uh, whatever the case may be, what happens is, is very incredible. The, the, the biggest thing is, 
Well, not the biggest thing, but you learn something, right? That's the cliche part of losing deals, but let me tell you the biggest part of it that people don't even realize. What's more valuable than money? Time. Time. You can replace your money if you lose it all tomorrow, but you can't get yesterday back. You can't replace time. It's more valuable, it's your most valuable asset. When you lose a deal, now you get future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. This is where people really, they, I lose them a little bit. The future time that you get back, that you don't have to deal with signing that listing, meeting them, taking the pictures, putting the sign up, putting the lock box, dealing with the agents want to show it, negotiating the deal, going to the closing, inspection, financing. You don't have to do all that anymore on that situation. You get all those hours, hours back. And now you can take that new knowledge you got from what you, whatever you learned, why you lost the deal. Now you're a better agent because you learned something, but you got hours of your life back where you can take that new knowledge and go get five more deals in the same amount of time. Right? If you realize that everything, everything in real estate is a win-win, like there's no way to lose, that's when you really start to understand if I can get that inside a new agent's head then I, I think I could really have a shot at helping them succeed because they can just power through, okay, I'm doing deals, I uh, lost that one, cool, okay, did it, um, I got that one, okay, I lost that one, you know, and just keep moving forward and you, get, and you understand and you take advantage of the future time you got back instead of moping. You can always notice a, a losing agent always talking about the deal that got away, the inspection that went bad, the financing that fell through. That's what they're talking about in the office. When I hear that, I'm like, oh, Lordy, they're not going to make it. Right? <laughs> so concentrate on the deals that are working. Forget about the ones that fell, fell apart. And use that future time. It's the most valuable thing in the world, and you just got some of it back.